Guys, welcome back to my Chelsea career on FIFA 16. Welcome to the season finale. I know, I know what you're thinking. Well, hold on, there's only a couple of episodes in this. Well, if you missed out, I did start this season with Swansea City and then made the move over to Chelsea. So we only had half a season with Chelsea. We're still in third, and even with three games to go, lifting the Premier League is still a possibility if results do go our way. We just have to make sure we win all of our remaining games, starting here at home to Tottenham Hotspur. This fixture in real life is pretty much the game that wrapped up the title for Leicester City because Tottenham thought they were going to get the win against Chelsea, an underperforming side, but Chelsea at the time had found a bit of form, and obviously Tottenham slipped up. Are Tottenham going to get the first guy? I always seem to concede so early on in games. And they've got a corner here. That's it. Now it's, let's clear it. Let's get on the move. Down here. There we go. To Oscar. No. I was sandwiched there. They were always going to win it back. So Fabregas against Tottenham. Remember he was a former Arsenal player. So he wants to win this. Here we go with Willian. And it's a simple goal. Simple finish for Oscar. Had to do it. We are 1 0 up against Tottenham. A goal we needed as well. Here's Willian. Willian on to Aspilicueta. Back to Willian. Passing the ball around nicely. We're having much luck at the moment down this right side. Aspilicueta using that strength. It's in for Costa and it's 2 0. 2-0, minutes removed from the first goal scored by Oscar and it's Diego Costa with yet another goal for Chelsea here at Stamford Bridge. He is Chelsea's top goal scorer this season, could be in for the golden boot. Come on Willian, you need to be keeping that in, he does, just about, keeps the ball alive, look at this, having so much luck down the right side, can we make it three? Alder Wheel almost scored an own goal. The ball, I'm not sure. Should that have been a penalty? Did that come off his... Came off his arm. And then it hit the post. He's very lucky. Dyer on for Harry Kane. Dyer again goes for goal. And it's way over. That's their first chance. We're in cruise control at the moment. And we could be looking at a third if I can get past this defence of Tottenham's Pedro in the box. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. The amount of penalties I'm getting playing as Chelsea is unbelievable. Could be looking at our third goal as well here against Tottenham. Let's go for top left. Go for the cheeky chip. Oh, of course, form saves. Of course. Of course he does. The Tongan joining the attack here up to Eric Dyer. I'd like to say he's the one that's keeping Tottenham together at the moment, but they haven't really done anything. Son straight at Courtois. Apart from that... <laughs> Lamella. Well, they've definitely lost this. I mean, oh, great footwork there from Christian Eriksen. Can they draw a goal back? He's gone for goal, but it's took a deflection. That should be it. That's all she wrote here for Tottenham. They came to Stamford Bridge thinking that they were going to try and climb at the table, but they failed in doing so, and they've lost 2-0 to Chelsea. The title could still be ours. Yep, we're definitely not going to win the Premier League now. It's either going to be Man United or Man City. It's looking likely it's going to be City. They've only got one game to go. We've got two more. Let's at least try and get second now. It's always a tricky place to come for me here at the Stadium of Light to play Sunderland. This is our game in hand. We are playing midweek. Looking forward to it. Matic using that right foot of his to find Oscar onto Costa. Here goes Willian. We are in, uh, well, we found a nice bit of form lately. Yeah, that's not going to trouble Manone much, is it? There we go, Matic. Doing well for us in the central midfield there alongside Fabregas. The skill there from William. We're going to have to whip it in for, who's that, Matic? And it's just gone wide. Costa couldn't get to it. It's too far away. Need to find that end product. We need to find that first goal. Can we get it here with Diego Costa and Baines? Oh, what a thunderous goal that would have been if it had found the back of the net. Such a stinging shot. Look at the power behind it. I'm not sure why, but Sunderland, they simply haven't turned up here. I mean, look how they're lacking at the back. It's going to cost them here. If we can 
Get us into the box. And, oh, it's another penalty. It is another penalty for Chelsea. As I was saying in our last game, I don't think I've ever had this many penalties in a FIFA career mode. This is unbelievable. Can't afford to take another risk here with a cheeky chip. So I'm going to go for that bottom left again. But with power, there we go. 1-0. And it's another goal for Diego Costa. 1-0 then to Chelsea here at the Stadium of Light against Sunderland. Can we make it two? Been not long to go. Not long on the clock. It's it. It's it. No. It is in. And it's Suma with the goal. 2 0. And that is the game pretty much wrapped up tightly in bed. Going in with the header. Good save initially from Manone. Well, two good saves to be fair, but it was his defence which failed to clear the danger. Hopefully, we can execute this break perfectly if we can. We could be adding insult to injury with a third goal. Oh, here we go. Random Alpha Alcaro onside. Oh, Manone. Manone keeps it out. Straight Manone again. Another good save. Fingertip save. Falcao all over at the moment. Oh, one for Matic on his left. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You can't ask for much more than that, really, can you? Nemanja Matic wrapping things up perfectly here with that third and final goal. It's got to be the final goal. And what a goal it was. Two games down, two wins, one game remaining of this season, which will be played at home at Stamford Bridge against Leicester. Hopefully we can replicate this performance for that game. There we go, you can see Leicester is our next game and we've got some news here. Who is the returning player? It's got to be Aiden Hazard because Ivanovic was out for five months. Yeah, Aiden Hazard, ladies and gentlemen, is back from injury. He will be able to rejoin the first team squad's training sessions. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I can stick him on the subs bench for our final game of the season against Leicester. If I can, he will be there and I will probably bring him on around about the 60th minute. See if he can add anything to the game. Now, I have got to pick England's team going to France for the Euros. I will probably do that in the next episode. The next couple of episodes after this one will be all on the Euros. It's the final game of the season then and it's always nice to finish off at home. We're here at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea against Leicester City. Be able to see the league table here. We are in thirds. Win this and we can go up into seconds but obviously if United win and they'll stay in second, we'll stay in third. We have got Champions League confirmed for next season anyway but it would be nice to get as high as possible. Man City are champions. It's totally out of reach now for Manchester United. And that's a bit of a confidence boost. Leicester have the worst away record, only picking 15 points on the road this season. So going by that, we've got three points in the bag. I hope so, but it probably won't be that easy, will it? Here is uh, my starting lineup. then, the team I've gone with. Aiden Hazard is on the bench. He has returned from his three-month absence. It's good to see. We'll probably bring him on around about the 60th minute. Uh, Costa starts Pedro, all the usuals are in there as well as Leighton Baines and so on, Aspilicueta, you name it. They're there. Let's have a look at Leicester's lineup. Does Jamie Vardy start? He does indeed with Akazaki going forwards or Brighton, Kante, Drinkwater and Mares players to watch out for in today's game. Need to, really need to get off to a good start here. Preferably with the first goal. But that's well defended by Leicester then. Looking sharp. Oh, Brighton. Kante. Finds Kante. That's on for Vardy. Look at the pace of Vardy going forwards. He's found Akazaki. Who's made it 1-0 to Leicester. Under 10 minutes gone. That's a bit of a blow. Can almost hear a pin drop around Stamford Bridge with that stunning strike from Akazaki. And it was the way he took it as well. He showed such confidence in his finishing. Made it look so simple. Baines on for Matic. Really want to go and get that equaliser now. Fabregas is so tightly packed at the back now. Leicester go for goal here. It's hit the crossbar. Unbelievable. Costa's been able to score all season, but he can't here today against Leicester. And now they, they're going to hit us on the break. He's going to give it to Jamie Vardy, who's going to be having a party in a minute. Look at this for passing from Leicester City. Kante. 
What's he going to do? He hits it over into the crowd. So yeah, you guys, you don't want to miss the next episode as we kick off what you could say the, the England career with the Euros coming up. We'll be starting that soon. Could save there from Courtois, but the danger's still here at the moment. I'll be uh, well won't Can I keep that in with Hazard? He's come off the bench. He's looking good, looking fresh. Oh, he's easily got past his man here. Made it look too easy. We're in the box. Oh, it's in the crossbar. That would have been perfect for Hazard. But we have got the equaliser. That's the main thing from William. Wasn't the nicest of looking goals, but it's a goal nonetheless. What power though from Hazard. Look at that. Incoming. Here come Leicester. You show her now. Oh, come on. We should be winning the ball back there. Now Jamie Varley. Goed in. Oh, what a block. So crucial, but it's a corner for Leicester. Final game of the season is going to end as a draw against Leicester. Unless the referee is going to hold off, but there's only two minutes added on. Yeah. Oh, Dye's giving it away again. Thank you very much. There's too many men back for Leicester. Go on, Hazard. Release him down the left side here. See if we can take it into the box. Go for it. Costa straight at Schwarzer. But it's still 1-1. Give that to William. Referee still not blowing the whistle for full time. William now. On to Loftus Cheek. Back in, back in. On for Oscar. And it's there. Such scenes. The winning goal. What a way to wrap up this season, but with a very late winner at Stamford Bridge for Oscar, who has failed to perform, failed to impress when, when I've been playing as him, but he's always been in the first team, always will be in the first team plans, I think. We'll see what the summer holds, but there we go. That's the quality of Oscar shining through. A great way to wrap up this season for Chelsea, but with a very late winner. We have beaten Leicester 2-1 in a game where Aiden Hazard returned from his three-month absence. He had a bit of an impact as well. He got the whole attacking move together to see Oscar score that second goal of the game. The winning goal for Chelsea. Here is the league table after the final day of the season. We end up in thirds. As I've already said, we've already qualified for next season's Champions League. I'm happy. Just came up short when it came to winning the league title. City walk away with the silverware. United just above us by a point and Swansea dropped to seventh, which is quite disappointing to see for them, seeing that I left them. And it's Villa, Sunderland and Southampton. Southampton getting relegated. I can't believe that they ended rock bottom in the Premier League Southampton but as you can see it's very tight there between the bottom six. The season's golden boot will be shared between Wayne Rooney and Thomas Muller. One player's from Man United, one player's from City. Do you think they're going to be able to share that golden boot? I don't think so. You can see Costa came in third with just 17 goals to his name. Not bad, Torre with 15 and Gomez of Swansea stayed on 10 goals for the season. Assists, it's Sigurdsson for Swansea that tops the, uh, the table there. Clean sheets is Fabianski for Swansea with 17 clean sheets. Courtois for Chelsea came in at third with 15. Joe Hart in fourth. Yellow cards, you had Jagielka and Monreal picking up eight for the season. That's quite a lot. Almost had a double automatic ban there for those two players. Red cards, Robert Huth of Leicester and Godin, and also Closer of Norwich, getting three red cards in one season. Right then, that's about it for this first season, shared with Swansea and Chelsea. As I've already mentioned, join me for the next episode as we will begin in the Euros in France with England. I'll be starting with the team selection, looking forward to that, looking forward to getting underway as manager of England and then once the Euros are over it's back in charge of Chelsea back to business with transfers and planning ahead for next season anyway guys that's it for this episode hope you've all enjoyed I'll see you all in the next one